In this lesson, we're going to talk about set dressing. All right, so we've kind of taken a look at set dressing a little bit. You know, we've placed in all of our architectural pieces, like our doors and uh, the frames and the windows and things like that, and it's kind of along the same subject. But with set dressing, you're telling a story. You're adding in details that really bring the entire level together. Now, we're not going to be bringing in a bunch of assets for this particular environment um, because we really don't want to spend a whole lot of time focusing on that. But I do want to show you some ways that can really help you speed up the process during set dressing because uh, whenever you're set dressing, you have a lot of props to go through. And so something like the electrical boxes um, that we've created here. So under my DT props folder, um, if we take a look at like my electrical outlet, um, even the curved piece for the piping and then the straight piece for the piping, all three of these really go together, but um, I would also have to set up the materials and things like that, and that could be a very painstaking process. And so what I want to do is I want to show you how you can set up your materials before you start placing them in the scene. So let's go ahead and double click on our static mesh for our outlet. You'll notice here that whenever we double click on that, you can see in your details, whoops, let's go ahead and drag that onto our tab bar. You can see in your details that you have um, LOD0, you have these materials that you can apply. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll go into my content browser, and I'm going to go to my DT uh, materials, and I've got this plastic, this in plastic. I'm going to left click and drag that, and that's going to be the outlet portion. I'm going to drag that right onto here you'll notice that that goes to the little um, outlet. Okay, now I'm going to put metal on the other part. So let's go ahead and go to our materials folder and let's grab something like this steel. I'm going to left click and drag that. We're going to go to our static mesh outlet tab and put that into element zero. Alright, great. So that has been applied there. Now all I have to do is just simply hit save. Now once I hit save and I go back into my content browser, let's close that, and we go to our DT props, you'll see that our materials are already applied. And so whenever I drag and drop that, it's going to take those materials that we've already applied right into there. So let's go ahead and do that to this one. So let's double click on that. That's going to bring up our static mesh um, editor. And we can simply go into our content browser, go to materials, and let's take that steel and place that onto the piping. There we go. Save. Let's open up the next prop. In this case, it's going to be the uh, straight pipe there. We'll take that same material, drag and drop that onto the pipe straight. There we go. And make sure you hit save. And then one final one that we have, um, let's go ahead and close those static meshes there. One final one that we have is our um, hanging light. Now the hanging light is going to have several different uh, uh, positions on here uh, for our materials. So we've got things like the base, the wire, the um, the shade itself and then also there's two other elements underneath for the light bulb and then the actual socket that the light bulb goes into. So to get started let's go ahead and go to our content browser let's go to materials and we're going to take the copper I want that to be for the base of this so I'm going to drag that there and that's going to go into my light bulb I don't want that so let's go ahead and reset that. Now, instead of going back and forth between my content browser, I'll show you another way that we can add materials. If you just left click on the swatch, uh, let's try that one more time. Let's, let's see, is it not, there we go. Uh, we need to click on uh, this little uh, piece right here. Let's go to our assets, and I know that that's off screen a little bit, I really apologize for that. But here you can search through your materials. Now, if you're full screen, um, you should have no problems with this. Now what I'm looking for here is I'm looking for that metal copper and that's going to go onto the base there. Um, let's take the element 2. I can't remember exactly which one this is. I think this is going to be the shade, the painted metal. So let's go, nope, that's going to be the wire. Sorry about that. Let's, uh, let's actually just type this in. Let's type in wire. And there we go. And we'll go to the next one, and this one we're going to do, um, let's search for the bulb, and that's not going to be it either, sorry about that. This is going to be the brushed nickel, so I'll just say brush 
There we go. And then, oops, I changed out my wire, sorry. Try that one more time. Wire. And then this one, there we go. Let's type in brushed. And then this one is going to be the bulb. No, it's not. It's not the bulb. It's the um, it's going to be the painted metal. There we go. And then the first one was the bulb. Let's go ahead and type that in. Bulb. Double click on that and you'll see that's kind of an emissive color there. So that's going to be our lampshade that is in our room. So there we have that. Let's go ahead and save it. Sorry that took so long, uh, but sometimes it happens. So there we have our static meshes and we can bring these in into our scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all three of these as they're going to go together. I'm going to left click and drag that into the level editor and just drop that in place somewhere. And notice that their pivot points are uh, fairly close together. Okay. And so all I really need to do is go ahead and rotate them to orient to the surface that I want. So in this case it could be 90 degrees. And I'll position that to where they're up against the wall. And let's position this. Let's go ahead and set this to 5. Here we go. So something kind of like that. I'm going to lift this up into the air. And then I'm going to take this. Let's set this to 1. Actually, let's turn our grid snapping off. Let's just turn that off. We don't need to do that at this point. So if you hit F, you can focus in on that. And we'll just position our outlet here. And I'm going to hold down Alt and left click and drag outside of our selection. So we can orbit around that, make it a little bit easier to position. OK. So there's the, that pipe. Let's grab the curved piece. And we're going to put that up here at the top. And I'm going to drag that. I'm going to hold Shift, so that way my camera moves along with it. Now the the lighting and stuff is kind of kind of play with things a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn the this to unlit, so that way we can see it a little bit easier. Sometimes that helps. All right, perfect. Now finally, uh, we want to take that across. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Alt, and I'm going to drag that up, and then I'm going to hit E to rotate that in the X direction. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And I'm going to go to my side view. And this will make it easier to look at. So if I hit W, I could put that up in a position, get it close. And what I want to do is I just want to hide the end of that right there. All right, perfect. So now that's set. Uh, what I want to do now is I also want to create one more at the end of that. Let's turn on that grid snapping. Let's set this to 50. And I'm going to hold down Alt with just that one. Hold down Alt. Oops, try that one more time. Drag that across. Hold down Shift so we can move our camera at the same time. And then I'm going to hit F to focus in on that. And there we go. It's right to the end. So if we go to our perspective view, okay, we've got that pipe in there. It goes through the wall, but that's okay. Not a big issue. And there we have this little electrical outlet, okay, with our materials and everything. What I want you to do is go ahead and put one on the other side as well um, if you want to. Um, it would just be a simple um, a drag copying that, so holding down Alt, moving that across to the other side. And you'll have to rotate the pieces 180 degrees, but then it'll give you a little bit of practice of just kind of moving those around and getting those positioned properly. Now the final thing to do is bring in our light. So I'm going to left click and drag that into the scene. Put it right up here on the ceiling and put that centered up right there. And there we go. And our little light right here that we had before is actually going to go right underneath that. So we can position that uh, whenever we get ready for that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to finish up with uh, the final look of our environment by kind of tweaking the lighting a little bit and baking those lights down, just doing some final uh, tweaks and touches to that. And I'll also add in just a simple particle system to add in like some floating dust. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get into that next.